Blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is September 3rd, 2023, and today is the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 21 to 27. We are the modern disciples of the Lord. And the way we conduct ourselves determine what kind of disciples we are. The way we behave tells the manners of our following Jesus. Our second reading for today is very short but straight to the point. Precise but concise. St. Paul in his letter to the Romans chapter 12 verses 1 to 2 is telling me and you that as a modern disciples, we are invited to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. And what kind of sacrifice? St. Paul is very clear and he said it should be holy and acceptable to God. Holy and unblemished sacrifice. It is acceptable when we do not conform ourselves to this world. My dear friends, transform this world by not conforming to this world. We are in the world, but not of the world. In it, but not of it. Go against the flow. You know, do not conform. If people love cheating, be honest. If this world, there's so many corrupt, go against the flow. Be transparent. If others are lazy, be diligent. Work hard. Don't be lazy because there is no holiness in laziness. If people love to spread gossips and swearing, you know, give compliments and bless people. If the world, if others are unfaithful, remain faithful because when you are faithful, you will be successful. Go against the flow. Transform this world by not conforming to this world. And that is being the modern disciples of today. Renew your minds. Do not only sanitize your hands, but also purify your hearts. And you know what, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, like Peter in today's gospel, we will be called Satan if we destroy the plan of God. We will be called Satan if we live a life not in accordance to the ways of God. And Satan is someone who tempts others to go against God. Someone who tempts others to break the law of God, to disobey God, to forget God. Satan is someone deceiving others. And Peter, he was called Satan after his very good answer last Sunday's gospel because he is tempting Jesus to abandon the cross. And he is called Satan because Peter is tempting Jesus not to offer his life as a sacrifice for all. And he is tempting Jesus to live a worldly life. He rebuked Jesus and he said it will not happen because his idea of a Messiah is totally different from the purpose why Jesus is here. For Peter, Jesus is like a political savior, a political Messiah. But Jesus is not that type of Messiah. He is a suffering servant. He is a suffering Messiah. That's why my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel is inviting me and you. He's challenging us to be a disciple of Jesus. And to be a disciple of Jesus, there are three important decisions that we need to make in our life. Number one, we need to deny ourselves. That's why Jesus said, if you wanted to follow me, deny yourself. Meaning to say, we need to renounce the renounce what ourselves is trying to 
to, to give us, renounce ourselves, deny ourselves, because we cannot save ourselves. We are not the Messiah. And after uh, denying ourselves, we need to take up our cross. Take up your cross. Because life without the cross is not a comfortable life. Our comfort, our convenience is in the cross. Never abandon your cross, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. The world will continue to tempt you. Forget about the cross. Go against the crown. Go against comfort and convenience. But hey, our comfort, our convenience is in following Jesus by carrying our cross. And after you follow your cross, and I mean after you take up your cross, follow the Lord. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, Satan is only after of the crown. He doesn't like the cross. Satan is only after of the claps, the thumbs up, the applauses, the compliments. He doesn't like suffering. But today, we are reminded, as disciples of the Lord, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow the Lord. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed. Amen.